Hi everyone, welcome to The Grace Life. So in this video today, we have a collaboration and it's called Blow Away With Foam Collab and that's hosted by Crafting With Gulia. I'm going to be linking the host channel down below in the description box. I'm also going to be linking the playlist. So make sure and full watch the video, subscribe to the channel, and then head on over to that playlist to see how everybody crafts with foam. So now jumping into the video, I decided to make a couple of DIYs with foam with items that I purchased mostly from the Dollar Tree. So now this item right here, this was so cute. It was also monogrammed. So we're going to be coloring this in with paint. Uh, by the way, they carry Martha Stewart paint at the Dollar Tree. So we're coloring it in with this beautiful color pink. The middle has the initial, like I said, monogram, and it's in the shape of a basket. So we're going to color this in in that pink and in white. So now I did want to take a moment and thank the host for hosting this collaboration. So now I think this wooden basket came out absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to set that aside to dry and then move on to the foam. So 
So now I found this piece of foam in my stash and I shaped it into this shape because we're going to use that as a pedestal for that wooden sign. But we're going to cover it with this burlap ribbon that has that lace on it and it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm not sure if you can see that in the camera, but I put a little slit in the foam before I started wrapping it in that ribbon. And that's what's going to hold up that wooden sign. So now we're going to stick that basket sign right inside that slit and it's going to fit there nice and snug. So the only thing we have to do now is start our embellishments. Now the Dollar Tree carry these beautiful cross stickers. So we're gonna go ahead and take one and place that in the center. And then we're gonna go ahead and use some of the little heart gems and clear to place on, on the sides of it.
Now we are ending uh, this craft with a bow and we're going to be using that ribbon right there with the little rabbit feet and also that jute twine. And then we're going to add some foam eggs and we are done with DIY number one. So now what you see me coloring here is one of the wooden planks that I got from the Dollar Tree that comes six in a pack. And then the Easter eggs are two for uh, $1.25. So the wooden plank is going to be the stand for that Easter egg. So I did use uh, two of the wooden cubes um, from the Dollar Tree to secure that sign standing upright. Now we are making a bow because we can't finish our crafts with that one.
So we're adding some leftover greenery and again some more of those green uh, foam eggs. think this DIY came out super cute it is so adorable so now moving on to DIY number three So what I did here is I just cut out a square as best as I could um, in a square shape. And then we're going to be uh, gluing down um, two of the little bunnies that are in the garland. I'll show you. So the Dollar Tree carries a garland with these bunnies and uh, I just cut two of them out so that I can use them in this wall decor piece. And we are gluing them down to that foam board and then we're going to start embellishing. So now we are using up uh, the leftover greenery and I found two purple roses which I thought was really cute for this occasion and then we're going to fill the bottom up with the leftover foam eggs and then uh, border this up and this is going to look absolutely adorable.
Now here I decided to use those clear gems that are shaped like hearts as the bunny's eyes. I thought that was a cute idea. So now here we're just gluing down a hanger and our sign is pretty much done and I am happy with the results and I hope that you agree. I am really happy on how these DIYs turned out. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. So now we're going to move on to some pictures and then the reveal. So now I really hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoy creating it. So if you liked the video, click like, share and comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every single time I upload a video. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.